There's more to Jimmy Barnes than rock and roll and he's practically written the book on that. That legendary voice is versatile and he's hitting the road with a new sound. We all know Jimmy Barnes has a rocking set of pipes on. But even after 50 years in the business, our Barnsy still knows how to shock you. If I showed you that, it might scare you. Come on. <laughs> I do that for about an hour, you know, every, every night, and, I, and I, you know, there's a few... And that's I, a standard warm-up. That's a standard warm-up. Just, <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I should have warned you more. <laughs> there is nothing standard about this Scottish-born turned Aussie working-class man. A week out from turning 66, Jimmy Barnes is hitting the road again. Musos getting out back out there and doing their thing. I mean, how, what's the last two years been like for you guys? Well, you know, I, I was sort of one of the lucky ones because I'd literally just come off of you know five years back to back to back touring, and uh, uh, when COVID struck, and I literally I'd, I'd done a cold chisel tour, I'd done I'd done a, you know my tour, and and I, and I said to Jane, I said I think I need to take six months off. I hadn't really thought that I was going to be taking uh, you know two and a half years off. So Jimmy, his wife Jane and their family performed the only way they could, online. You know, Jane and I were singing uh, every night on, on social media and, and that was really beautiful and, it, and as much as that helped us stay connected to the audience, it also helped us connect as a couple too, it was really good. I got you, babe. Come on. But the experience for me was probably something I needed to do. I needed to sit still for, for a couple of years because I'd just been running around for 50 years sit going still. crazy. You? Yes, I know, sorry. Just a uh, little bit still uh, crazy? Yeah. Like yes, that. yeah. Well, I'm still, I'm hyperactive. So I, when I say <laughs> it was think? really good for me, you have to ask <laughs> my family you, <laughs> and ask Jane. Being locked in a room with me for two years might be different. During lockdown, Jimmy Barnes also revisited an old love. Soul. Let's talk about Soul Deep. Um, yeah. This was your biggest. When I offered it up to the record company, I said, look, I've got the Soul record. Michael was pretty dubious, Michael Gadinski. He's going, really? Do you, you know, really think you'll scare your audience off? I said, I don't think so. <laughs> and then finally we released this record and it was, it became the biggest record I ever had. Soothe me, soothe me, soothe me. That 1991 album, Soul Deep, has now been remastered 30 years later including new songs like Soothe Me, with American godfather of soul, Sam Moore, who's still swinging at 86. I, you know, I remember probably somewhere in late 70s, someone, you know, Cold Chisel, we were touring, and I had a, I had a Sam and Dave cassette that, that I used to play in the car, and, and no kidding, we played that in the car non-stop for about two years. Do you think you'll be able to do that at 86? I will, I put, by, by 86 I might go to dance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't promise it. <laughs> Come on, give us, give us a go. Since I met my baby man, all I do is... Keep going. Soothe me, baby. Soothe me. To get the opportunity to sing that song with him, it's like one of those... You know, Even just, Jimmy Barnes I can, I, I can, I can, yeah, that's right, one of the greatest things of my life. Yeah. When you spend a bit of time with Jimmy, you soon realise, above all else, family is his world. He's teaming up with daughter Mahalia and son David Campbell, taking this album, Soul Deep 30, on tour in June. As much as it's my band, these guys really drive it and they really, and they really influence what my, all the decisions I make. Also appearing will be Melbourne's own Teskey Brothers.
Johnny Farnham be making any appearances? Listen, I, I, I've, I've told John this a million times. It's an open invite for him. He is, he is hands down probably one of the best singers I've ever heard. Jimmy's energy jumps a notch even just talking about getting back on the road. He knows this one is going to be special. Considering what everybody's been through over the last few years with everything in the economy, the, the, the bushfires, COVID, many rivers to cross, and I can't see the find my way over. See, if I was in an audience, I'd have my uh, lighter. I'd be a mess. I'd have my lighter. <laughs> I'd be a mess. Talking about energy, Jimmy, you're about to turn 66. Have you got the stamina for this show that's coming? This, I could do it with one lung tie behind my back. I mean, uh, no, I, I'm healthier now than I've been for 40 years. So, so yeah, I, 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 listen, I'm, I'm dying to get... You might, I might even bust out a few dance moves, who knows? <laughs> and if that one-hour warm-up is any indication... I do you love me! Oh, it's, it's the ultimate party It song. is, isn't it? It's the Our Barnsley's still got plenty left in the tank. What's your secret? What keeps you going? When I get in front of an audience, there's just that, there's something about that communication, that transfer of energy between an audience and myself that makes me a better singer and makes me want to be a better performer. And I, and I just, and, and I live for it.